Welcome to Digital Asset News, the top stories in cryptocurrency digital assets and break them down to bite-sized pieces. Today, interesting stuff. First up, Bitcoin miners earn over $1 million per hour. And that's a revenue increase of 185% since the 2020 halving. And what this tells me is that there is big business behind the doors of just holding cryptocurrency also. Continuing on with the same theme, publicly listed Bitcoin mining operation see shares skyrocket. Riot blockchain market cap reaches 1 billion. And we're gonna take a look at two to three other mining operations and one that I'm actually investing in as far as the stock market goes. And finally, more bullish news, a physical crypto bank opens in India. 14 locations offer in-person banking, lending, crypto exchange. And the question has to be asked, how far behind is America as India, which just legalized cryptocurrency not too long ago after it was banned, now has 14 locations for physical banks for cryptocurrencies? Before we get into that, let's take a look at what's going on in the market. So today, it is December 30th. It is uh, 1 p.m. El Paso, Texas time, and Bitcoin is on yet another tear. Looks like we are almost hitting the 29,000 mark at 28.8, uh, 20% for the week. And uh, it's just been amazing growth. I mean, ever since, um, actually, it's been like this, like this for like a past month. And I think what was going on, it really all started with Grayscale. It seemed like all the different companies that are, have been buying up Bitcoin, including uh, PayPal and MicroStrategy and Mass Mutual and, of course, Grayscale, they, it seemed to me like they had this like this unwritten rule, which was don't buy more than the daily allowance. Well, just about a week ago, uh, Grayscale said, you know what? Forget you guys. We're going to leave you in the dust. And they bought up 13 times more than the daily amount that is produced for Bitcoin. And I think that's uh, really what's going on with the institutions. Now it's just a buying frenzy. And uh, once we hit 30,000, uh, that's when I stopped dollar cost averaging Bitcoin. Because if you've watched my videos before, I have a theory that uh, Bitcoin is going to go at around 100, 150,000 in 2021. And then it's going to come right back down to around $30,000. So I'm not going to dollar cost average after that. So uh, we're almost there. And and once that happens, then I will allocate funds to other uh, cryptocurrencies or assets that I have in my portfolio. And uh, I'll just ride this one out. Uh, this is going to be a huge year. I think 2021 is going to be enormous. The only thing that, that I really worry about, one is scams. Uh, that's one of those things. And um, two really is the SEC and what they're doing uh, with Ripple and XRP. Now, I think Bitcoin and Ethereum are pretty much safe uh, because Jay Clayton, the SEC chairman that just stepped down and he was the one kind of responsible for kind of spearheading this this whole uh, lawsuit against Ripple. Uh, he came out in 2018 and said, look, Bitcoin's on a security. And then they kind of alluded to uh, Ethereum the, the, the exact same way. So I'm not really concerned about that. But there's some other things uh, also stellar I'm kind of looking at uh, to where they could say, hey, we can go after these types of things. Now, I'm not trying to spread FUD. I'm just saying that that's what I see. I think Ripple is a special case uh, for what they're going on because it was two things. Uh, one, there's a problem with, with securities and maybe it is, maybe it isn't. But the second one, I think it's the much bigger part is uh, the leadership or the CEO and uh, co-founders of Ripple and how they were selling off uh, their uh, XRP. I don't really want to get into that part, but I think that is an issue. But again, uh, I think this, this market is going to do very well in 2021 and I can't wait to see what happens. So Ethereum looking at, man, 750, 2.8% for the day, uh, almost 19% for the week. Again, tether, tether, nobody cares eh, in a free fall. And, uh, you know, I had just recently sold all my XRP because I want to take a massive loss. And just to reiterate what happened, I don't think people, I think people just saw my thumbnail where I said, I'm selling all my XRP and they went out of their mind, especially the XRP army. So if they would have watched the whole video and uh, seen what I did, I don't think there'd been that much of an issue, but apparently it was. So I'm going to break this down real quick. So what you do is that you sell all of your losses for the calendar year for tax purposes. So I sold all my XRP at 9 a.m. Got it? And then five minutes later, I bought some back. So you can do that. That's called wash trading, but it doesn't apply in cryptocurrency because crypto is a special piece. It is actually concerned, uh, considered property. So in this situation, that is what I did to help me out with my taxes. I'm a small business owner and I need massive tax deductions. So that is what happened. Um, 
So again, let me reiterate that. So, cause I, I think people just don't understand. I sold the XRP for tax reasons so I could get a tax break. And after that, I bought some back. So when people say, oh, you got weak hands and you say you never sell, look, that is, <laughs> I, I can't make it any simpler. I, I don't know what to tell you. Um, I need tax breaks. That's what I did. So let's move on. Litecoin, 1.4%, uh, 12% uh, uh, up for the week. That's pretty good. Polkadot, uh, we just did a, a nice little video this morning about um, uh, Polkadot and staking and things like that. And some people said, you know, uh, they said, hey, this is really easy. You can crack and you can do it in two minutes. And some people are like, hey, why do you do that? Just use a wallet. You can use a wallet. Some people don't want to do that. Uh, that's why there's different options for everybody else out there. But check that video out. Uh, pretty interesting and makes things super simple. Polkadot, you can stake it for like 12%. It's crazy. Bitcoin cash up 2%. What else is up? Wrap Bitcoin. And it's amazing that, you know, you've got Bitcoin 1, Bitcoin cash 2, Bitcoin SV 3, wrap Bitcoin 4. Um, those are, there's four in the top 20 and they're all rated Bitcoin. So what, you know, what do you know? Uh, let's see, Stellar, Stellar's down. I can see why. Uh, Monero, that's weird. Monero's usually up. Celsius Network, just an absolute tear. I mean, they're going to hit $6 in no time. I remember buying Celsius under a dollar, and now here we are. 81% for the week. I mean, that's just unbelievable growth. Is it sustainable? Yeah, maybe. We'll see. Uh, Theta, another one of the great buys. 10.6% um, for the day. 40, man, 46 for the week. That's amazing. And we're going to see these numbers again and again and again, especially in 2021. So don't be surprised. And that's really about, four, wow, 14% for Uniswap. At back to above four dollars what a yo-yo zillica um gotta really look into that <laughs> say every time and i never do uh, i know it's a great project i don't know one of these days all right let's move on to today's top story so before we do all that i forgot one thing I need to give away the winners for the 12 days of christmas we did everything all the way until the 24th and 25th and i had the people at the respective companies draw these names at voyager trade the chain and market rebellion so for the 24th for the winner for the hundred dollar voyager it is going to ryan alchemist and he puts voyager will pm address if i win ryan just do me a favor go to danteacherscrypto.com click on the contact tab send me an email with your information and we will set you up with that hundred dollars worth of Voyager token. Next up on the 25th, we had the three for one. It wasn't even listed here. We're giving away two Trade the Chains memberships and one year long membership to Market Rebellion, where you can go there to learn about crypto trading. And the last one, which is a surprise sneak in, we give away a Shield Folio. So for the two people for the Trade the Chain, they're going to be Crypto T. Congratulations. You won three months to Trade the Chain as well as. Mark Vozo, you guys are both winners of Trade the Chain. Again, just go to Dan Teaches Crypto, click on contact, send me an email with your information, and we'll get you all set up with Alex Maschioli and that great platform where they use sentiment analysis. Mark Rebellion, get technical analysis. Trade the Chain, you get uh, sentiment analysis. You put them together, unbeatable. And then lastly, for the Shield Folio winner, it's going to be Megabytes Mining Bar. So again, you know, at dentageouscrypto.com, send me an email and we'll get you all set up. So again, thanks everybody for uh, making this a success for 12 Days of Christmas. We'll do it again in about another year. So, all right, this was a great story. Bitcoin miners earn over a million per hour. And I, when I'm looking at this, I mean, we all know what's going on, right? I mean, come on. Uh, we know that Bitcoin's going to be big this year. The only question is how big. I have a, 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 a frame of around... 100,000 to 150,000. Some people say 300,000. Some people say 500,000. Some people say a million in 2021. I don't know. I hope I'm wrong. I hope it goes to like a half a million. That'd be awesome. But uh, who knows? But there is so much money in this space that is rippling over into mining, mining operations, stocks. There's a lot of ways to get into cryptocurrency. And this is just one of those ways. So what's going on here? Well, this, according to Glassnode, BTC miners are currently earning a million per hour, meaning an increase of 185% since the halving happened in mid-May. I had no idea how profitable it actually was to be a miner until I took a look at this. Now, uh, I know some miners and it's not easy. And it's not that's not my forte and not my thing, but that's why it's so lucrative. So if you're into those types of uh, mining operations, sure, go ahead for it. I don't know how anybody would do that without actually hooking up with a, a mining pool but uh, sure. Uh, but again, tons of money in here. And there's going to be a way we're going to talk about in just a second 
about not about making money investing in the cryptocurrency but not directly into cryptocurrency so continuing on this story the last time miners revenue was hovering around such highs was in july 2019 adding that block rewards were twice as high as today obviously because uh, we just went through a halving in may of 2020. overall class note estimates bitcoin miners total revenue stands at 13 billion making it a heavyweight industry within the crypto sphere and an attractive one for businesses looking to invest in the crypto mining industry. I think this is one of those things that people are going to start to really take a look at. When we look at the big picture about what is going on, it's not just the cryptocurrencies and what they can do in the digital assets and, you know, you using Bitcoin as a store of value, using Ethereum, building everything on top of that, using VeChain as, as tracking different things, to, you know, throughout the, the globe. There's a lot of things that, that can be done. And when you are an investor, you're looking at, well, what, how can I get into this? Well, cryptocurrency is kind of uh, unstable as far as the price action. I don't know what's going to happen in six months. Nobody does. But I do like this mining industry. Maybe I'll invest some money into that. Not a bad idea. So finishing up, I didn't know this, but uh, the latest generation mining rigs prices have gone up 35% since the beginning of November. The observed price increase comes as Bitmain and MicroBT are reportedly sold out until May 2021. So that's how you know industry is making huge strides. There's just not, not enough to go around. And that is a shortage. Supply and demand, just like Bitcoin. As of past time, according to BitInfo Charts data, Bitcoin average transaction fee remains at $8.70, still off from the highs reached on October 31st at $13.15. And I got to tell you, I'm glad that we are not in December 2017 because back then people were still touting uh, Bitcoin as like a currency cryptocurrency and using it to pay for goods and services that's not it's, it's not going to be that let's just be honest people talk about ah, oh, there's these second layer solutions and lightning and i just about fall asleep when i hear it i'm like yeah okay sure i it's it's a store of value and let's just stick with that narrative it wasn't what satoshi had in mind but it is what it is and that's what we're going with that's what the in, in, institutional investors are doing nobody's using their bitcoin to buy coffee no one's using bitcoin to buy a car well, maybe a car, I don't know. But I mean, daily -day transactions, it's not going to happen. At least not for a long time until someone figures out something better. But for right now, store value, everybody's happy. Great. Let's put a bunch of money into it. Go to the moon. Fantastic. Let me know what your comments are in the comment section below. But this, I think, is the real money winner.